It is Caterpillar time again. This is Diecast Masters model 85958 and it's the Caterpillar MH3040 wheel material handler. The box is quite large and on the weighbridge it weighs £5.6 ounces, and that's just over 2.4 kilograms. From the outer shipping carton we can drag out the insides by grabbing hold of the nylon bag. And if we stick a hand inside the bag we can grab hold of the tin and out it comes. It has a nice photo of the real machine on the lid and these tins always have very high quality printing. On the side is another picture of the machine and if we rotate it around it's good to see there is some technical information about the real machine. Let's open the tin by lifting off the big lid and first up we see some documentation and we'll take a quick look at that shortly. And then we need to stick some fingers into holes. And you do that to be able to lift out the top piece of foam rubber. Now we get to see why the box is in fact so long. And it's because the model has its boom and stick laid out flat. And it makes you wonder why they didn't fold up the model and go for a smaller box size. First out of the box are a couple of plastic tools and also the machined operator. And then we can dive in and carefully grab hold of the model and lift it out. After a little bit of reluctance it gets to make an appearance. And there's another small piece of packaging to remove as an elastic band which is used to clip the cab door so that it stays shut during shipping. So we need to carefully lift that off. Next we have a simple instruction sheet and that tells you how to install the operator. As usual there's a small Diecast Masters mini brochure and this is the 2022 version. Let's now get a weight for the model itself and it's about £1.5 ounces and that is 600 grams. So the only assembly we need to do is to put the operator in the cab. A plastic pointer is provided to enable you to open the cab door and of course as a manager one doesn't actually want to touch a worker and we don't have to because tweezers are supplied. Now get in that cab and start work. Sometimes you get these workers who are just reluctant to do a proper shift. Well you need to lay down the law, poke them, prod them, push them and if you do that finally they will submit and realise who is boss. Here's a view of the model underneath and you can see that the axles are modelled complete with a drive shaft running front and rear and there's some branding on the underside of the base. The semi-slick tyres have got a tread pattern and the outrigger boxes are metal with some small graphics attached. And the wheels on the model seem to be plastic but with some nice detailing. The cab has a textured step plate outside and metal handrails. And you can see the operator is wearing the standard Diecast Masters clothing. There's a soft plastic protection grille front and top. And without the operator we can see the cab is very nicely detailed with cat on the seat back and a nicely formed joystick and what might be a cup holder and there's also a console with a couple of screens. The elevating cab mechanism is modelled well although there are no cable runs. This side of the body has got some nice graphics. There's a metal walkway and grab rail and the grills are made of graphics. The counterweight has got a big cat logo and on the opposite side there are various textures and metal handrails and mirrors. And there are hydraulic hoses running to the main boom rams. Viewed from above there are plenty of details on top. And that includes hydraulic hose connections to the boom. The boom has got metal pipework formed within the castings. And there are lifting eyes but they don't have holes. At the junction of the boom and the stick there are hydraulic hoses. And the connection with it is discreet. At the business end of the stick there are graphics. And there are also graphics on the metal grab. We'll 
we'll start by seeing how the MH3040 travels and it rolls along without being particularly free rolling. We can set the steering and see what angle we get and it seems fairly shallow and maybe somewhat less than the real machine could achieve. To set up and do some work the outriggers can be lowered and it's good that they have very stiff hydraulic rams so they will stay in any position that you set them. You can lower them so that the pads are nice and flat on the ground. Let's have a look at the stability of the model and with the boom and stick outstretched it's stable over the front. Let's try side on with the outriggers down and it's still stable. So we know the boom and stick can fold out flat. Let's now close them up and see how far we get. And the good news is that the boom goes almost to a vertical position. But as shown here this is as close as the stick will get. And as you can see you're left with some exposed piston. So you can't use this model to make a convincing transport load. The grab is permanently fixed to the stick but it has some good movement including rotation and side to side. And each of the tines is individually poseable and they will hold the pose that you set. As usual for this type of machine there's an elevating cab. And again good stiffness means any position can be set. In addition to the opening cab door there are more opening features. And there's an opening panel on the cab side. Moving around to the opposite side of the machine and there's another opening panel. And this side has got some interesting detail that can be seen. But we're not done yet because there's also an opening panel in the top of the machine. And as you can see there are a couple of fan enclosures visible. Of course a model like this is always good when posed with others. This is another well presented model by Diecast Masters and it's got a high standard of detailing. It's also got a range of functionality including many opening parts but on the other hand the movement of the stick is a bit of a disappointment and you can't pose the model as a transport load. Given its size it's a bit on the pricey side but if you like material handlers then overall it's very good. Music 